but the one thing I really wanted to work on today was our position. So I have a gym line set up. Uh, so what are a few things that we need to keep in mind uh, while we're going through our gymnastic line today? Not to get too far forward over their neck through. sitting right above it then if you're galloping or jumping bigger fences you'll go up quite a bit and that's just a general rule it does depend on how long your legs are and your horse's conformation but that rule pretty well works well with everybody so if we look at Peyton's ankle this is sitting right below her ankle bone and I could tell right away without even having to take tell her to take her foot out of the stirrup because her leg was so straight when she was in two point Right? And so that's going to then make it difficult to follow the horse, right? Because your joints act as shock absorbers when you're riding, and they need to be able to open and close freely. But if they're too open and too straight, that's it, good for it doesn't work well like a hinge, right? Um, so you'll fix your stirrups after, but go ahead and put your foot back in. Go back into two point. Okay, so we know we need to shorten the stirrups. What else should we keep in mind? We need a stable lower leg, one that's under the rider. We want to have a straight line from hip to heel. And, and then we want to think of not letting our shoulder go past our knee. Now in this case, her leg is too straight. Mm -hmm. So if we shorten, so sit for a second. I put it up three holes. Now we have better angle now going to two point. Doesn't that look better? Mm -hmm. So now her joints are able to open and close as the horse jumps from underneath her. Eyes are up. Common mistakes we're going to see. Flipping forward, leg slipping back. When the leg slips back, the upper body goes forward. When the leg goes forward, the rider tends to fall back. So making sure that we anchor our leg, keep it under our hip is really important. When the horse jumps, the horse jumps up to you and away from you. So once you go into two point, you stay there. You don't go into more of a two point when you go over the fence. Does that make sense? So if here's your horse and here's the rider, the horse jumps up to you and jumps away from you. So it goes like this, right? So it's not, if your horse jumps up and then you lean forward, you're gonna go right up. That's how we end up on the neck, right? So we see all these riders jumping up the neck or jumping ahead of their horses. We don't want that to happen. So once we're in two point, we just stay there and allow the horse to jump up to us and jump away from us. All that we do is open and close the angles in our joints. So that's gonna be the knee and the hip, and then the elbow is gonna be a little forward following the mouth and then back. Does that make sense? Okay, ready to go? So right now, Great, 
sitting up nice and tall so we're not getting ahead of the motion. Uh, straightness really matters. Straightness really matters. And, and being consistently uh, forward, right? Yeah. So like when we like say forward, not rushing or quick, but we have to make sure we have the appropriate pace for what we're doing. And not like, oh, one step, like, it needs to be like, everything should be like consistent. Rhythmic, yeah, yeah. Yeah, set the pace, keep it, and straightness, yeah. right? Which is what we've been working on. Um, we'll continue to work on straightness. is so important um, and takes time to work on and achieve, and it's got to come through our flat work. It's not just the jumping where we're going to get it. We need to do a lot of work on the flat. So we could do things like practicing our center line, like a dressage test, right? Riding on the quarter line, making sure you're not relying on the wall when you're riding. And you're not using the wall to keep you straight, that your horse is actually between your leg and hand and going straight where you need him to go, right? Does that make sense? So practice, especially because we're in the arena a lot now, this time of year, it's very easy to get caught up in just following the wall. But then is the horse really on the aids? No. Right? So straightness is something you always want to test and something you always want to continue to work on. And then with that is our rhythm, right? If, you're, if you have an inconsistent rhythm, it's very hard to keep your horse straight. So rhythm, impulsion, and then straightness. But they all, they all gotta come together and those are very important then for our jumping too. And you can do all of this in your flat where the more you practice this in your flat, the better it's gonna be for your jumping, right? Cool, good job guys. Thanks, Em. You're welcome. Thanks.